Hello everybody, this is Crunch Blue, and I know I haven't uploaded in forever, but this is a video that I believe really needs to get out there, so stay tuned. So yesterday, I was lying down in bed, sick as a dog, just watching marathons of Markiplier on my TV. I opened up the YouTube app to browse some more videos when I was met with a survey question from YouTube. A single question that really got me thinking. It asked, Do you think YouTube is a good place for gaming creators? Now, I've had opinions on this specific topic for a while now, and I hope this helps not only YouTube by me giving a more detailed answer than just strongly disagree, neither disagree or agree, etc., but also help new creators wanting to start their own gaming channels. So many of you are probably looking at the sub count and birth date of this channel and immediately thinking, what does this guy know? Clearly he's new to YouTube, he doesn't know anything. Though this channel may be relatively new, I assure you I have been on YouTube since 2011 and have had many different channels so I think I can give a pretty unbiased opinion of whether or not YouTube is still a viable option for new and upcoming creators, specifically gaming creators. When I first started doing YouTube, I was doing covers of songs. I didn't do them with any real intention besides getting myself out there and just showcasing my skills. Well, skills. As time went on, I was continuously uploading new covers and just whatever I wanted to upload because that's what I wanted to do. It was my channel, so I was going to upload what I wanted to, even if it was random. Oh, I love me. This song here is called Nightmare, mate. And it's about some scary things that go on in your head at night when all the wobblers come into your head and they make your dreams all crazy and I just love it. I was very carefree with what I uploaded and overall, minus a few comments of constructive criticism, The experience was pleasant and overall fun. Then one day I was browsing the YouTube front page and was met with someone who would forever change my perspective of YouTube. <laughs> How's it going, bros? My name is Philippa! Yes, Mr. Felix PewDiePie. This crazy, energetic, charismatic Swedish guy flipping out, playing scary games, completely changed my entire outlook on YouTube. Prior to seeing him do gameplay videos, all YouTube was for me was watching music videos and binge watching viral videos like Charlie Bit My Finger. I never actually knew that you could even record yourself playing games. So of course, I wanted to try that. Ah uh, yes, now we're in the glory days of Let's Plays. The world of 480p, the flip camera, the horrible lighting, and can't forget to use that camera's mic because nobody uses a headset or anything. I'm just kidding. But yes, these were the good old days of 2011 Let's Plays from yours truly. Now, if you remember in the beginning of this when I said when I first started doing YouTube, I didn't make videos with any real intentions. Well, after discovering how fun and well popular Let's Plays were, and the fact that I could potentially do this as a job, that all changed. I was on a mission from this point on to become a gaming channel. Well, after a while, I saw that I wasn't getting anywhere near the amount of views on my Let's Plays that my covers were getting, and then it hit me. Maybe that's because most of my subscribers I had were there for music, not games. So I decided to make a new channel dedicated to gaming. Well, it was going okay for the most part. 
but then I found another passion alongside gaming, graphics design. So alongside gameplay videos, I was also doing speed arts. So for those of you who are unaware of what a speed art actually is, a speed art is literally me in Photoshop recording myself doing something artistic and then creating a time lapse and putting dubstep or electronic music in general. So of course, my views were remaining stagnant for my Let's Plays on this channel now too because now most of the people are subscribing for the speed arts and graphics. So after two unsuccessful attempts at a channel specifically dedicated to gaming, I decided to finally create a legitimate gaming channel. Quick side note, I did do a few group channels specifically dedicated to gaming with my friends, but I'm not going to go in depth with those because I want to focus on single creators. So I decided to create a channel with a name that would have a ring like PewDiePie or Markiplier, a name that's so unique that nobody could forget it. Yes, Paper Toilet Gaming with the motto, subscribe today, it's only a flush away. This channel would be specifically Let's Plays, commentaries, you name it. Well, there's only one problem. It's 2016, and there are now thousands, if not tens of thousands of Let's Players out there. Probably way more than that. So of course, I'm a little guppy in the Atlantic Ocean. But alas, I tried to swim on still, and hopefully find a school of fish that liked what I did. Sadly, the videos still really didn't go anywhere, and the amount of time and effort I was putting into them wasn't translating to the little amount of views I was getting, and those views were steadily declining. Well, due to the steady decline in viewership, I decided that maybe I just need to take a breather from YouTube for a while. Maybe I was just trying too hard to make it big that I was actually making it harder to stay motivated and basically burning myself out. So of course I uploaded one more video on that channel and that was it. Well of course at this point I had lost any and all hope of ever being able to pursue my dream of actually making a career on YouTube, I thought that I'm just not going to get anywhere because of how much competition there is nowadays. My motivation was really low until one day earlier this year, I decided to give it one more shot. I swore that if I try this time, I'm going to give it my all, and if I fail, then I guess I'm not going to get anywhere on YouTube. This is where Crunch Blue was created. Hello everybody, my name is Crunch Blue. Thank you for taking time out of your day Please to check out my channel. Uh. What? Dude, really? what I do? This channel was the channel where I spent the time and money necessary to ensure I was recording the highest quality videos that I possibly could. There is one thing I've noticed with YouTube, however, and it's not just with YouTube, it's all over the world, sadly. And that is if you're a well-known figure and something is happening in your life that you need to talk about to get it off of your chest, you can. But that's not always the case for everyone else. After giving 110% to this channel, I found that I started losing motivation yet again. I kept wondering why. Why am I losing motivation? Maybe I need to vent. Maybe I just need to get some of this weight off of my chest. So I decided to do a vlog that outlined the struggle I was facing as a small channel. Now of course, I'm not the only creator who has struggles, but I was mentioning the dilemmas that I was facing in my life. The struggle with trying to single-handedly upload high-quality content every day while working over 40 hours a week while simultaneously battling with depression and anxiety only to average like 
20 views per video. Now, I thought this video would help people become aware of the struggles that small channels have to go through nowadays to even get their feet wet, let alone join the ranks with the greats. But instead, this video showed the true color of the community and how dog eat dog this current community of gaming on YouTube is becoming. I was receiving a bunch of hateful comments saying that I was just whining and complaining, that I was just trying to get sympathy views by mentioning my depression and anxiety, that I was complaining when my channel had only been up for a few weeks while they were grinding daily for months or even a year, and if that wasn't enough, I then got a dislike on every one of my videos. Now one or two dislikes probably isn't that big of a deal for videos with a few hundred or thousand views, but when you only average like 20 views per video, that can really negatively affect that video. This definitely hit me hard, so I removed the video and became even more unmotivated. I decided to eventually decrease the amount of days I uploaded to see if that would help, but sadly, just like my other channels, the fire of motivation turned into a small pile of embers, and eventually those embers burnt out. So, after all of this, the main question you're wondering, is YouTube still good for gaming creators? Can gaming creators actually make it big on YouTube nowadays? Well, if you ask a big channel like Markiplier or Jacksepticeye or PewDiePie, etc., they'd probably say, follow your dreams, you can do it if you believe though I am a firm believer in that concept. I feel that becoming a gaming creator on YouTube goes far beyond just if you believe you can do it. It goes into whether or not others believe you can. Because at the end of the day, those who do believe you can do it will be the ones to click that subscribe button. Everyone else will click to another channel. There are many different ways I think YouTube can help make it not easier, but just overall possible for new creators to join the ranks, but whether they do that or not is the deciding factor. So my final verdict, YouTube can be a good platform for new creators if YouTube actually helps acknowledge that they exist. So I hope this video kind of shed some light on the likelihood of becoming a gaming content creator on YouTube nowadays. I don't want this to take away your motivation. That is not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you the struggles that you will face along the way. And you're the one that has to decide whether or not those struggles are worth it or not. So that being said, uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really hope it did help a little bit at least. I, again, I don't want this to make you lose motivation. I actually want this to motivate you even more. For those of you who don't know if that struggle is worth it or not, I may have gotten overwhelmed by it, but that doesn't mean that you will. So just keep pushing forward and I wish you nothing but the best. As for those of you who have supported this channel thus far, I very, very greatly appreciate it, and who knows, eventually I might be up there in the ranks, but as of right now, I'm still a little guppy in the Atlantic Ocean. So, thank you again. I am Crunch Blue, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I will see you later.